Welcome to our Tech Deep Dive. Today, we're tackling a challenge that many developers encounter when integrating Spring Security with reactive programming. Our viewer is facing an issue with maintaining authentication context while making reactive REST API calls using Project Reactor. Let's explore this intriguing question together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To address the issue of losing the Spring Security context when using Project Reactor, we need to understand how context propagation works in a reactive environment. One effective approach is to use the reactor context. This allows you to store and retrieve the security context in a way that is compatible with reactive programming. You can implement this by wrapping your reactive calls with a context that includes the security information. Here's a code snippet to illustrate this. Additionally, consider using the Spring Security's reactive support, which provides built-in mechanisms for context propagation. This can simplify your implementation. Finally, ensure that your application is configured to use the reactive security context. This will help maintain the security context across different threads in your reactive pipeline. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Spring Security 5 introduces significant reactive support, marking a major theme in its development. The first milestone release has recently been made available. And that's it, guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped, and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.